Gore has a grand vision. He will challenge you to reach for the stars and gives you the freedom to do that, and that's what we go for. So they had this uh, bone cage hanging like a pendulum off a crane. Is this actually just really swinging? Yes. We're not quite sure what's going to happen. Three. The bone cage sequence was... Oh. was crazy. Oh. Kira, if she wasn't an actress, I would sign her up. We could give her a t-shirt and a hat and, and bring her on the crew, you know, if it ever fell apart for her, which it won't. What George and all these guys do is kind of invite you into the team, and, and that's just brilliant. She's a very quick study. Her physicality is, is fantastic. Stop! And I will. I'll be a stunt woman if it all falls apart. That would be cool. <laughs> Johnny's really a natural. He's a very good athlete. He doesn't let on that it comes easy to him, but I think it, I think it does pretty much. I've done some really obtuse and strange things in this. At this point, you know, nothing they could ask would, would surprise me anymore. It seems nothing is unsurmountable in this movie, and, and they keep trying to stretch the boundaries and limits of, of what's even possible to do. Should we try it again? Yep. Pirates 2 is just going to be bigger and better. More people arriving outside. There's Greg Rosetsky, tennis player. That's Misha Barton from the OC. There we go. There is Charlotte Church. I'm sure she'll be having a good night tonight. Okay, now some of the lost stars are in town. One of the stars of the film, I'm sure everyone out there recognises exactly who you are. Kira Knightley, of course. Hello. Hello there. Are you all right? Yes, are you? You look beautiful. Thank you. I'm not wearing very much and I'm still boiling. It's amazing. Well, you should be used to this after being in the Caribbean for so long. I know, but it's London. You never expect it. You know, you expect it to be hot in the Caribbean. Exactly. Now, come on. How hot was it in the Caribbean? It was pretty hot. I mean, like, we're, we, were, we were in some places that were about 35 degrees doing all the stunt work. Which wasn't exactly pleasant. People didn't smell marvellous, but um, it looks good, so that's the main thing. And I just want you to know that course that you were in, that, I mean, your waist is minuscule in that. Yeah, it was pretty small. It was quite terrifyingly small, actually, um, and, but I couldn't breathe, so I, I learned my lesson quite quickly. <laughs> okay, so from now on, it's baggy clothes rules. It's definitely baggy clothes and, and boys' stuff. That's much more fun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, come on. Oh, last, last time we saw you, you kind of ended the film with a kiss as Will Turner with Orlando. Now, what happens this time around? There's more kissing. Oh, well, so difficult for you, isn't oh, it? Oh, so difficult. Yeah, I get two gorgeous guys in one film. Aww. Someone's got to do it. I know. Did you have to sword fight them, though, as well? I did, yeah. No, that was the one thing from the first film that I was really desperate to have was a sword fight. And they actually gave me two of them. But there isn't much left in the film, so I reckon they cut me out because I probably wasn't as good as I thought I was. No, do you know what I reckon? I reckon it's because apparently Jack said that you were by far the best. So oh, obviously, I they, don't, they want to make the guys look more heroic. You just made me feel so much better. Thank you very much. Now the third one, obviously you're you're filming that, you've finished your bit, what's how is what's the situation? No, I think I've got about three more months to do at the end of the year and then we're done. So we've done about half of it. It's going well so far. Oh my goodness, it is not a short process, is it? No, it's been a long one and I think everyone was really glad to sort of take a break and, and have a breather from it. But but you know, it's a great bunch of people and, and we're looking forward to getting back to it. Okay, now we're joined by a new addition to the cast, Stellan Skarsgård. Hello there. Thank you very much. Okay, now come on. What do you make of this crowd? This is a good premiere. Uh, it's a good crowd, yeah. It's pretty insane. Almost as insane as the opening in L.A. And it's not, I'm, I'm used to doing independent films, you know, so I'm not used to this. Now come on, tell us about who you play. I play Bootstrap Bill, <clears throat> which is Will Turner's father. That was, uh, according to the first film, he was thrown in the ocean, tied to a cannon. Uh, but somehow he, d he appears here, full of barnacles and muscles in his face. And yeah, now we must talk about your um, your facial makeup, I suppose. Um, was that all CGI? Um, I don't have any CGI. All the other characters on my ship ha are CGI. But I have I spent four and a half hours in makeup every every morning. Bootstrap, Bill Turner. You look good, Jack. Okay, now I'm joined by one of the other British actors in the film, Naomi Harris, plays Tia Dalma. Hello there. Hello. Okay, now, are you impressed with the Brits tonight? I am. There's quite a turnout outside. It's really impressive. Yeah. Although, although when they see the film, you don't speak like that. No, I don't. I've got a Jamaican accent. Very different. Yeah. I Did look you very to... different as well. 
You do look different. Like, but, I mean, did you have to work hard on getting the accent right, or is it something um, you know well, how my, to do? My mum helped me, actually, because my mum is from Jamaica and my family are from Jamaica, so my mum was a great... Which my mum was kind of my accent coach on the movie. Did she get yeah. a credit? <laughs> no, unfortunately she doesn't, but she does now, which is good. You have a touch of destiny about you, William Turner. You know me. You want to know me?